All right, and let's refresh this again. Yep, nine days, all right. So with nine days left, the Veil Walker, number one, has 93 backers and $2,525. 25 25 No sign of Cleopatra, though. Anyway, <laughs> um, a dark fantasy epic chronicling the downfall of the Veil Guard's greatest inquisitor. First campaign, apparently, by Stephen Velez. Velez? I don't know. Um, all right. So we got that. A 25-page action thriller. The Veil Walker number one introduces us to a world of horrors ruled from the shadows by an ancient institution of magicians called the Order of the Veil Guard. Readers will follow the exploits of this order's most decorated inquisitor, Alexander Salvador, infamously known as the Veil Walker. Work in progress pages not in order. We got some <laughs> got some hentai happening and uh, some guys looking at the hentai happening with Spider Man in the background. Original proof of concept issue zero. Hmm. Index. Um, okay. About the Veilwalker. Lore. The Veilwalker takes place in a world where a small percentage of the population is born with the gift, which allows those granted... Granted? With it? That's not correct. Uh, to use their mana to cast all kinds of spells. To protect those aforementioned from not only the ignorance of man, but also the evil spawn of the Veil, the Order of the Veil Guard was established in the late Middle Ages. For centuries, the Order has balanced the study of the Veil and maintained <coughs> not just its secrecy, but that of the gifted population as a whole. The Veil is why uh, the Veil and wh and why it has weakened. Uh, at an exponential rate, still remain shrouded. Still remain shrouded, and in the days to come, Alexander will witness the veil ripped asunder like never before. Hmm, interesting. The setup after the disappearance of an urban explorer is seen on live stream. <laughs> uh, storytelling certainly has changed, hasn't it? Yeah, you do something set in modern times, and you gotta include all this internet bullshit. I don't know. I mean, it it probably makes for some ma makes some things that would never have been possible before possible, and and interesting twists that can be made on that. But at the same time, it also means you've got to account for more shit. And, you know, it's not as uh like in the in the past, it would have been so much easier to explain that. Well, you know, they're out of contact with everybody else because there's you know there's no phone, meaning no landline there. Or whatever, and then it's like, oh well. Then you have cell phones, and for a while you can still say that, well, you know, there's no reception there, and you can still kind of say that some places, but increasingly you can't. So, <laughs> and have it be realistic. So anyway, uh, all right. Uh, the head of the Veil Guards Inquisitors branch is tasked with investigating for potential Veil spawn involvement. However. Alexander soon finds that the greatest challenge he will face tonight was one he thought long subdued. The story will push Alexander's Alexander and his skills to their limits. Ultimately, why is ultimately capitalized there? Uh, placing the fate of the world on 
on his ability uh, okay, to find answers he has spent a lifetime searching for. Why Indiegogo? Art has already been funded. Hmm. Pencils and inks are done. Colors have just started. The reason I'm asking for your support on Indiegogo is to begin the funding process for issue two. But primarily, I would love to give you all the ability to join the Veil vale Guard as our fight is just beginning. I truly believe the Veil vale Walker belongs on Indiegogo. I hope you do too. Heart. All right. And there's some YouTube videos. Uh, meet the team. Steven Velez. Uh, I can't even read that, much less pronounce it. Um, Alright, stretch goals. 6x9 art print unlocked. Sign main cover on cardstock. 2.5x8.5 uh, bookmark unlocked. Double sided. Uh. Oh what? O A I uh, oh yeah. O A S I O S I I don't know comics. Uh, stickers unlocked. Uh, logo and Alexander sticker. Uh, Two thousand trading car unlocked. Uh, doesn't say who she is or anything. Uh, Currently locked, uh, six by nine. The veil vale landscape print. It's twisted the wrong way there for <laughs> the silhouette's the wrong way for it to be landscape. Um, that'll unlock a three thousand, uh, four thousand unlocked two pages, uh, two page lore splash. Five uh, K unlocks veil vale guard community brochure. Interesting. Uh, 6K unlocks proof of concept number zero. Four more story pages unlocked. Um, doesn't doesn't say a, a number for that. I guess I, is that. Wait a minute. What? 6K eight pages. Issue included. Four additional action pack pages by our team. Is is that an add on to the six, or is that sixty five hundred, or w w I don't know what's going on there. That's just left blank. Seven um, K unlocks case file. Uh, an in canon case file of the opening sequence of issue number one. Hmm. We got that. Uh, risks and challenges. Tried to mitigate any potential lateness for the book by beginning production months ago. That's a good idea. Uh, we'll ideally ship all books by the end of October. Wow, that's uh, that's good. <laughs> um, and it's almost October now, so anyway, uh, set our delivery deadline to November 2021. It's reasonable. Uh, we've done this to ensure that we deliver your awards on time or early. Good. I wish more people were so conscientious. Uh, we've learned the hard way with experience that delays can happen, and sometimes there's nothing, a uh, not a thing, a publisher can do about it. Uh, strive to give our artists enough time to do their best work, accommodate their needs, uh, make sure regardless of any delay, we give consistent updates throughout the process, often with examples, work in progress pages, love what we do, and we always finish what we start, Quality, longevity in mind. Understand care, quality, craft, comics deserve. So we're all great storytelling, so make this dream come true for us. Thank you to our backers. All right. Let's check out the tiers. Feature tier. Foil Inquisitor Pack, $50. You'll receive the digital copy of the 21-page first issue of The Veil vale Walker, the... I thought it was... Wait a minute, what? It says 25 pages here. This says 21 pages. So which is it? Is that what that four extra pages means? It's like, someplace in there, maybe we'll unlock that. And if not, then it's 21. I don't know. Uh, 21, uh, Veil Walker, the... Uh, well, cover, main 
cover acrylic veil guard pin and dual playing card pack welcome to the order all right 15 out of 500 claimed estimated shipping november so by cg standards that's incredibly fast um issue number 1 though i mean by cg standards they'd be incredibly fast if they delivered in december after promising november <laughs> Let's be serious, you know. Unfortunately, that's the that's yeah usually the case. Uh, issue number one PDF, five dollars. You'll receive digital copy, twenty-one page first issue available. Worker number one delivered to your inbox in PDF format. Awesome. I do wish that more CG campaigns would be willing to offer a PDF and also offer it for a decent price. Which five dollars is uh, that's pretty standard for non-CG uh, digital issues. Uh, but CG, you know, likes to charge 10 or even 15 and sometimes 20 or 25 for their PDF, which is just, uh, like, like Micah, you know, it's like $25 for the print, $25 for the PDF. Like, what the fuck? Uh, all right, uh, 12 claim to that. Issue number one, main cover, $8. Here we go. This is, this is decent pricing. This is, you know. Rather astounding to see from a CG project. Uh, you'll receive the Walker number one main cover, um, and you get the PDF as well. Again, this is something that CG projects very rarely do, but non-CG projects very frequently do, which is you have a PDF tier, and then you have a print tier, and the print tier comes with the PDF so that you don't have to feel like you're fucking missing out. On, but, you know, it's like, I, yeah, I personally, if if I want to actually have the physical, I like the idea of having the PDF as well. That way, if I ever want to go back and reread it, I don't have to risk the physical integrity of the physical uh, uh, copy, of the print copy. I can just look at it digitally. And that, you know, anyway. Um, so, 34 claimed there. Uh, the... <sighs> Fornes cover? For, uh, anyway. Uh, two claimed on that one. Also comes with the PDF. Awesome. Uh, the foil cover, $25. Yeah. Pricing structure, definitely uh, better than CG standard here. Uh, metallic foil. And the PDF, 4 out of 500 claimed. Although, as I've said before, it's like I I personally am not interested in foil because I you know I don't know I uh, to me you make things all shiny and shit and it just makes it difficult to actually see the artwork so I just you know it's not you know the the shiny stuff is you know it's not it's not of interest to me personally I mean you know other people that you know uh, I'm not saying nobody should like it it's like you know I'm just saying that I'm I'm not that not that into it. Um, all right, main foil cover, $25. Also comes with PDF, awesome. 7 out of 500 claimed. Um, this is interesting. Ships worldwide, ships worldwide, ships worldwide. Uh, doesn't say... Oh, well, that's the PDF, so that ships worldwide. Uh, this one, ships worldwide, okay. Uh, so all those are worldwide. And then you get to this one... And it says ships to European Union, United States of America, Canada, Puerto Rico, and Mexico. That's odd, especially since that's a twenty-five dollar uh, tier, and this is this is a fifty dollar tier, and it comes with the main foil cover. So why would the main foil cover by itself not ship everywhere? That's weird. Um, all right. The, um, I don't know. Veilguard pack, $30. You'll receive the digital copy. Um, Fornance cover, main cover, acrylic Veilguard pin, and dual playing card pack. Hmm. Okay. Dual playing cards. Nine claimed. And then, mm. 
original art. $2,500 for the main cover original. You get the original main cover art for the Veilwalker number one. Uh, have your possession piece of history, um, plus the hollow foil cover pack. So you get both foil covers, and this one ships worldwide too. So, again, I don't know. Was that a mistake on that one tier? Or or is there some reason for it? Uh, you also get the PDF, of course, with this uh, and the pin. And that's one of one, or zero one, rather. So that's uh, still available. And uh, let's see where. Uh, I don't. That's just. That's so weird. All right. Well, let's look at the shipping on these things. The. Ooh, three dollars. Look at that. That that is amazing for a CG project. Eight dollars for the main cover for the print, and it comes with a PDF, and three dollars in shipping. Yeah. I mean, uh, five dollars in shipping would have been, uh, would have been reasonable. Three dollars is, frankly, amazing. And it's so common for CG to be like, mm, nah, ten. Yeah, ten. For, for just one little floppy, you know, comic, yep, ten dollars shipping. Uh, only danger, I suppose, is that these people are making everybody else in CG look bad. <laughs> it's like, if they can do this, the rest of you guys could do this. Just saying. Uh, anyway, 22 outside the U.S. Now, the last campaign we looked at was doing 10 across the board, so that was probably a mistake. 22 outside the U.S. is, uh, it's not unreasonable. It's, um, yeah. It's a fairly, you know, fairly standard for, for international to, to cost quite a bit. All right. Um, the alternative cover is slightly more expensive. Let's see if the shipping changes at all. It does not. Three and 22. Three domestic and 22 international. All right. So that's 15 bucks out the door. That's that's really quite good. All right, foil cover. Presumably this is the same. Three and twenty-two. All right. Very good. Now, let's see what is up with this. Um. Now wait a minute. That uh, that's not right. It said it shipped to the European Union. Uh, does that mean that the UK, even though they, I mean, what they they did Brexit, even though they kind of really haven't, and but it makes them unavailable. The fuck. Um. All right. Three dollars domestic. Yep. I guess that's it. That's interesting. So they won't ship it to the UK, this tier for some reason. Don't know why. 22 to Germany. 11 to Canada. So this is slightly cheaper. Uh, Puerto Rico is 5 bucks. So it's nice and cheap to Puerto Rico. And what's the other place? Mexico is 11. Uh, was there any place else that it went? No, that's it. Alright, so... That's really fucking weird. Really, really weird. Everything else worldwide. That's I don't know. Is that a is that a mistake or is there like is there actually some fucking reason why you do that? That's was I can't imagine any reason for it, but um, I don't know. All right, three and twenty-two. Looks like that may be across the board pricing. Now this at this point that that begins to look like maybe a slight mistake. I don't know how much it might uh, add to your shipping cost. To, I mean, what is that? That's um, it's. I mean, it's two physical and some playing cards. That's you know that shouldn't really change it from just one. But the pin, I don't know. It depends on how big it is or anything. If you 
have to make the package slightly larger. Um, all right. Let now for secure shipping, there really ought to be probably more cost on this one. Let's see. No. Oh, okay. It's just free shipping. So the shipping's included in that. Well, that's good. I mean, you know, probably should be able to afford to ship it, obviously, you know, to include the shipping in, in a, you know, a price that large. Although, usually, uh, CG campaigns do not do that, usually. You know, it's like, it doesn't matter if you're paying 3K for the damn thing. It's like, it's usually, oh, yeah, and, and, and 20 in shipping. <laughs> or something. Um, all right. And so this is going to be the most physical stuff. And it's still 3 and 22. Still 3 and 22. And that's got uh, two foil covers and the playing cards and the pin. Huh. Wait a minute. What? What is the difference? Oh, this that's foil and these are, are just regular. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I I mean, it depends on how big the pin is, like I said, but uh, it, yeah, it's probably small enough that you could just stick it in with the comics. It's not going to change things. So that's actually, uh, you know, like, this may be, I mean, there is no, like, reward that <laughs> that can be given out, uh, award, I should say, uh, but um, it feels like it needs one. Feels like this campaign might be, you know, if there was such a such an award, should be given to these people for uh, having like the best, most competitive pricing structure of of you know Comic Skate. <laughs> it's like seriously, it's like, you know, three dollars. Like even even for this, it's it's only three dollars domestic. You know, twenty two international, and and the twenty two international is not nothing really special. Like international shipping, um, you know, is sometimes as well. It's it's actually sometimes as low as like fifteen or something, uh, but it's often you know eighteen, twenty, whatever twenty. You know, this is twenty two, so but sometimes it's also twenty five or thirty. So you know, it's like it it's you know it's middle ground, I guess, sort of. Um, but three dollars domestic, it's like that's super fucking cheap. That's that's really amazing. I mean, it, it's pretty damn good from anybody in indie comics, and it's amazing for somebody who is flying the CG flag. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's that's quite something. And the you know, and the actual pricing of the you know, it's like they've got the five dollar PDF. That's really good. You know, usually CG doesn't even offer the PDF, and if they do, it's usually more expensive than that. Five bucks is very, very competitive pricing. Um, you know, main cover eight bucks. It's like that's that's awesome. Like this is this is the kind of pricing structure that you usually don't see in CG. Yeah, you know, but it is the kind of pricing structure, and and from the sound of it, planning ahead and whatnot, and getting, you know, it's like yeah, this is this is you know. <laughs> This is really uh, impressive, I would say. This is a really Im Im impressive pricing structure that they have here. So uh, I, I would highly recommend that everybody consider at least the digital and, hell, why not the print? Because the print's only 8 bucks plus 3 in shipping. It's like, it's $11 out the door, and it comes with the PDF. I mean, you, you're never going to get a better deal than this campaign is offering probably from a Comicsgate project. It's pretty it's pretty cool. It's it's pretty pretty impressive. All right. Until the next one.